please join me in welcoming Theo to the stage. Hi. Uh, welcome, and uh, thanks for joining my talk, uh, AR, A View from the Trenches. Um, thanks, uh, Ori, for uh, inviting us here for the second year in a row to uh, give a talk. We're very happy to be here, and uh, uh, we got very inspired uh, today, and especially yesterday when Bruce Sterling uh, was uh, talking. Um, one funny thing, uh, we noticed a trend uh, that uh, the Augmented World Expo is getting closer and closer to our uh, headquarters, and we really applaud this uh, trend because uh, the, the past few years we had to fly all the way to San Francisco uh, to join the Augmented World Expo, and now we could take the, the trip by car. Uh, I think it would be nice if you all join us in uh, Rotterdam uh, next year so we can uh, come to the conference by a bicycle. Um, so I'm uh, from uh, Platypus, and we haven't accidentally chosen this name. Uh, of course, the uh, Platypus is uh, an animal that combines traits of different worlds. It's both uh, uh, using traits of the mammal world and of the reptile world. And um, it's in a fun way combining worlds, and that's the sort of thing that we like to do as well. Uh, and I will give you some examples of that. But uh, of course, augmented reality is the example of combining worlds in the sense that you take the physical world and add uh, digital information to it. So I'm uh, Theo Lagendijk, CEO and uh, founder of uh, Platypus. And um, I have a technical background, so you could call me a programmer. But uh, to speak in terms of uh, the, the team of uh, the Augmented World Expo, uh, I'm sort of a magician uh, in a sense, at least that's what it feels like, uh, because as a programmer you're sort of uh, structuring magic spells to create a, a magic experience. Um, we're a, 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 a relatively small company, but we managed to do quite big things, uh, so I, I want to share with you a bit of uh, how we approach uh, that. Um, we've started quite a while back, uh, eight years ago. Uh, at that point in time, um, we started with uh, location-based augmented reality applications, and we managed to get uh, paid for our magic. So what up to that point was uh, merely a hobby uh, could all of a sudden become a, a, a business. And when I say location-based augmented reality, we're talking about uh, the type of application, where you provide tourist information, uh, or do city marketing, uh, stuff like that. At the time, uh, we built on, uh, on layer. Um, what I like about Platypus, and I will elaborate more on that, is that we're a, a lean company. We're very flexible. We have, uh, over the years, gathered a lot of experience with a wide range of uh, tracking technologies and with uh, different types of uh, AR content. We're very independent, and we uh, have an idealistic approach. Uh, we um, have an idea of where we think the world uh, uh, should go, and we see that technology plays an important role uh, in forming the future. So um, we're very aware of the fact that the, the, the superpowers that we have have to be used in a responsive uh, way. So um, to quickly tell you what we do. We primarily make apps, and those are targeted at iOS and Android. Right now, it's usually for um, smartphones, tablets, and occasionally uh, glasses. And here's an example from our portfolio. Uh, the Nissan Academy, um, part of Nissan Europe, is a client of ours, and we help them create uh, augmented reality apps that let uh, the employees of uh, Nissan get to know new uh, types of cars. And this particular example in this picture uh, is quite a strong example of uh, how augmented reality can add value. In this case, uh, there was a new electric motor, and the, the technical employees had to be trained in how to disassemble it. But um, 
th this is dangerous because there's uh, high, voltage, uh, high voltage batteries uh, in the car. Uh, the procedures uh, have to be followed quite carefully. So you don't want the students to start with the physical thing. Uh, so we made a, a very interactive uh, 3D model and these uh, exploded views uh, help the students see how everything interacts with each other. Um, so this is the type of thing that we like to build. Um, we also do a lot of other things. We're not limited to this uh, really technical uh, subjects and these advanced uh, tracking techniques. Uh, we also do the, the, the simple stuff that's been around for years, but um, we also try to find, always try to find where that creative edge is, where we can learn and acquire new superpowers. Um, I think I'm going to skip this slide. Uh, it, uh, let me elaborate a bit more on how we do it, because as I said, we're a small company, so um, it's not like we have a big research and development department and, and a lot of programmers that can build all the aspects that go into building in a, a good uh, augmented reality app. So a, a typical app that we deliver uh, uses a lot of technology that we either buy or uh, get licenses for. Um, what we noticed in the, in the, in the past uh, two years is that uh, unity is a common f factor in uh, all our projects. It's a really good way of unifying all those uh, things that you want to use. And uh, Platypus is the, the glue that holds this puzzle and adds uh, application logic to, to add uh, value to that puzzle. Um, what you can see is that we um, clearly stand on the shoulders of giants, and this is uh, both a strength and a weakness uh, that we're very aware of. Uh, so we hope that uh, the major players in uh, the augmented reality tracking industry uh, uh, go about responsibly with uh, th this situation. Uh, um, here's another tactic that works for us in uh, realizing big uh, projects. Um, we take good care of our network and we make sure that we uh, form uh, closely tied collaborations uh, with other people uh, and with other companies. And in the Netherlands, we're in a corporation called uh, Artishok. Um, it's a quickly growing uh, corporation. Uh, with businesses that are all about the size of uh, my own uh, business. And uh, the strong thing uh, about this is that we are all slightly different companies with our own expertise and our own superpowers. So we can take on bigger projects and uh, usually we're quite able to distribute all the work to people that love to do that particular work so that the, the tasks fit with each uh, his own superpower. And now to the subject of education, because uh, this is the thing that we're very uh, excited about. Uh, you saw this example of uh, us building apps for uh, uh, education. Uh, we do this with augmented reality because it's often, uh, at least with complex technical subjects, uh, really uh, a way of making it's easier to comprehend uh, how things interact with each other, how they move, uh, etc. Uh, but we also do non-AR stuff, and the reason that I want to mention that is because uh, it's not that uh, AR is super cool and it's a super immersive experience, but it's uh, we want to make sure that we don't use it as a as a gimmick that distracts from what you're trying to do. Um, this is really interesting. Um, this is the art class from the primary school that my uh, daughters go to. And uh, in that art class, they explore different mediums to express themselves. Uh, so the art class came by uh, at our office and everybody got a chance to uh, uh, paint with uh, the Google Tilt Brush app in the HTC 5. But what I found so interesting about this is that we're no longer only consuming AR, VR, but uh, that the tools start to emerge to, to express yourself, to build your own stuff. And we're taking that uh, even further. Um, 
we teamed up with the high school in our town, and we're sharing the knowledge that we acquired over uh, the last eight years with uh, the kids at that uh, high school because we think it uh, uh, is very important that a new generation will not only play Pokemon Go and, and the likes, but also um, gets to be able to, uh, to more intelligently, intelligently play with uh, the medium. And uh, this is working out uh, really nice because um, we have a lot to tell. We have a, a lot of experience. We can share how we build apps. With, we, we can brainstorm with the kids uh, about how they would approach it. Um, and it doesn't stay theoretically. Uh, we also give them the tools to concretely, uh, literally build their own uh, AR apps. Um, but I have a slight concern here that I wanted to share with you. Um, what we in an ideal situation would like to see is that it's very easy for young people to quickly create something meaningful in augmented reality. And I think the, 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 the quality of the tools could be better to achieve that. Because right now things are either uh, expensive or, or quite complex. And at least that's what we're experiencing. Um, nevertheless, we manage. Um, but if any of you think that I'm uh, missing something or uh, want to point out to me that there is a, a, a tool or a platform that quickly enables uh, children to make AR, then I, then I would love to know that. And basically, the, the point that uh, I wanted to make with, with the, this section on educations is that it's pretty sh clear that augmented reality is going to be uh, a, a mass medium. And like all mass mediums, it's uh, to be emancipated in, in, to be part of that medium, you have to be able not only to read, not only to consume, but also to write or uh, produce. And, and the point is not that I want everyone to be uh, a programmer and make um, make beautiful apps or something, but um, I think you should teach uh, kids at least to have a bit of a sense of uh, how things are created, so that they don't feel uh, the, the defenseless victims of the the, 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 the status quo, but f feel that they can really contribute something, uh, have a have a say in in how we shape the the future. Uh, so that's uh, about all that I wanted to share. Um, one more thing. There were some photos in my presentation. They're from uh, Will McReynolds, so who is uh, uh, from Augmented Marketing. He's a, he's a great guy and a great photographer. So if, uh, if you like the photos, uh, check him out. Uh, yeah, that's what I wanted to share. Thanks for uh, listening.